Tickets are on sale now for our 20th anniversary Back to the 80s and 90s WrestleFest Birthday Bash Saturday, November the 13th at Memorial Hall in Melrose, Massachusetts. Wrestling fans around the corner around the world, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. Special series of programs we're going to be bringing you folks from Sin City itself, Las Vegas, Nevada. One of my favorite places. Was very happy to kidnap uh, Captain Lou and Din Fan. Uh, they were out there on a shoot uh, with the Grand Canyon and the Hoover Dam. And the Cauliflower Alley Club was right around the corner. So I, I had to do very little work, and I like that. Captain Lou is dead. Not Albano. Oh. Captain L E W. Oh, that oh, Captain oh, Lou. That right, Captain oh, Lou. All right. Jeez, John, do you think Captain Lou would well, be going to Vegas to do a camera? All I know is, you, you know, you talk about <laughs> Dylan Cage, you do flip a little bit. Well, that's a different story for a different time. What is not a different story for a different time, folks? Uh, we are going to be revisiting some of the great awards from the 2021 Cauliflower Alley Club reunion in Vegas. And we're going to kick it off right, Johnny, a man that has held multiple championships all over the world, in this case receiving the Lucha Libre Award. The one, the only, a man that I know has a lot of respect for you, Rey Mysterio. Wow, I have so much respect for that man. He has contributed so much to this business, Rey Mysterio. He's brought the luchador style of wrestling to the world, really. And now his son Dominic, what a great set of footsteps to follow in. Let's hope he can pass that torch to his son. But congratulations, Rey Mysterio. It couldn't happen to a nicer person. Let's take you back to Sin City. How you guys doing? Yeah. Having a good time? Yeah. Man, I didn't know this was around 55 years. You know, I would have been here at the age of one if I could have. <laughs> but uh, man, I'm, I am truly blessed. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God for this journey that he has given me. Incredible, blessed. Uh, God, I have so many words that I can describe the 32 years that I've been doing uh, professional wrestling. But uh, I'm gonna tell you a quick little story on how it all started for me at the age of eight. I uh, decided to start wrestling, uh, training with my uncle in Tijuana. Just a boy from San Diego that was raised in Tijuana, Mexican parents. Started training from the age of eight to the age of 14. At the age of 14, I get my first opportunity to wrestle in front of 100 people inside of a uh, church, outside of church, I'm sorry, the parking lot. So uh, that was my first experience as a wrestler. I uh, just, my passion, my dream, my work ethic always was wrestling. And that was taught from my uncle to me. My uncle was first generation, I'm second generation. Now my son is continuing with the third generation. But at the age of 14, 15, 16, John, maybe you were uh, booking some shows at the time. I remember my first official out of town matches were in LA and I was wrestling at bars when I was only 15 years old. So they would tell me, Ray, you sneak into the back, you don't take your mask off. You leave it on because it's only 18 and up. So uh, at that time, the age of 15, imagine him wrestling Mondo Guerrero at that age. So, did you ever book any of those, John? Uh, no, no, started in 93 LA. Okay, so right before 93, I was, I was wrestling Mondo. Now, if you would have told me back then, one day you're gonna be teaming up with Eddie Guerrero and you're gonna be some of the best tag team uh, uh, luchadores of all time, I would have never thought it. But uh, it's funny how, how God has a path and a destiny for you, and you just have to fulfill it. You have to put in the work. And I believe for 32 years, I have been doing that. So I thank 
God, first and foremost, my family, my beautiful wife that has been with me from the very first match I had up until the last one we had. <laughs> 14 years old, you saw me wrestle for the first time. And uh, the match we had last night was pretty good too. <laughs> no? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> um, yeah, this journey has been incredible. Uh, my parents for putting up with me as well. My brothers for the support. Uh, I think the the ones that uh, that are very important to me, the ones that paved the road for wrestlers like myself, and the generation that's coming right be after me, like my son. You know, thank you to those that have made the sacrifices that have been on the road that have uh, not been at home for anniversaries, Christmases, uh, birthdays, uh, you know, which are very important. So uh, on behalf of myself, my wife, my family, my kids, thank you guys very, very much. CAC, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to be up here, to enjoy this moment with all of you. Um, I know for the past year we've been on lockdown and we haven't had that much of, of freedom. We've been really locked up, so this feels good to be out. Kevin Sullivan, where are you at? <laughs> big, big uh, influence in my career because from ECW, we were eyeballed right away from WCW and they wanted us in there. We were right behind Eddie, Benoit, Malenko and Jericho. And uh, you were the one that uh, opened up the doors, you know, for psychosis, for Conan, for myself. You know, I know Conan had those words with you and because of uh, the relationship, you opened up the doors to WCW. With that, Ray Mysterio would not be part of the WCW, which is where my career really kicked off. And then after that, you know, it really took off in, in WWE. But thank you, there's a lot of people that, that I'm probably forgetting, but Kevin, I know you're here and and I really appreciate you having the trust and uh, letting us just take off and, and ride into the sunset, man, like we always did. Thank you so much for that opportunity. And I think the ones that we tend to forget at times, but without the fans, we would not be who we are. That's what I've always said. Um, I've always made the time and uh, pushed other things aside to spend time with my fans, whether I get recognized or um, you know they spot me out, whatever, whatever the case might be. If they recognize Red Mysterio, I'd like to attend them, autograph a picture, whatever. Sometimes they're too scared to ask for a picture and I'll tell them, hey, Let's take a picture together, really? So those, those moments are very special to me. I would not be here without the support and the love of the fans. So we love you, brother. Thank you very much. Love you too. One thing that I tell my son all the time, and I have been telling him uh, ever since he broke into this business, Keep your feet on the ground, man. Stay humble. We're always blessed. So uh, thank you again very much. Love you guys very much, man. Appreciate it. Wrestling fans, you can join the nonprofit Cauliflower Alley Club for only $25 annually, $300 for a lifetime membership in the United States, and help make a difference in the life of wrestling greats by visiting caulifloweralleyclub.org. If you're new to Boston Wrestling MWF, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel for over 2,000 free videos, and studio shoot interview talk shows seven nights per week. Until we speak again, be healthy. Good night from Boston. <laughs>